Hello everyone, this is Sherman here from TechOS and today I'm going to show you how you can password protect your notes on iOS and OS X. Now before I get started I just wanted to let you know that to be able to do this you will need to be running iOS 9.3 on your iOS device if you want to be able to use it on an iOS device or if you want to use it on your OS X or Mac computer you will need to be running OS X 10.11.4 and it's very simple to do and as I'm on my Mac already I'm just going to show you how to do it on OS X so all you have to do open up notes and I've got a sort of test note here that I've created and before you get started you're going to have to set up a password that you're going to be able to use to log in to access these notes so to do this if you go to uh, notes in the uh, menu bar and if you go down to where it says set password and click on that now you're going to want to type a password so I'm just going to go ahead and type a password in and then it's going to ask you to uh, verify so basically just retype that same password and then you're going to want to set a password hint now this is probably uh, something you might want to set uh, I don't know just so you can remember it or something that you can easily remember without it being too uh, you know descriptive about what your password is um, now this is obviously recommended as it says on the screen because um, if you do forget the password you won't be able to view your locked notes so that is something to bear in mind so I'm just going to put uh, st standard or passwords so I'm just, that's just my hint if I hit set password that is now uh, the password that's set now what I can do to lock a note if I go to this icon in the uh, menu bar of notes, so in the sort of window pane uh, over here, if I click on that, what it will do is it will come up, bring up this menu. If I click lock this note, what it will do is it will just give me a little um, tutorial here, just telling me that um, how it works. And obviously, I've showed you that. So now, if I hit the lock, and I can hit close or lock notes. So now this note is now locked and if you look in the side pane over here there is a little padlock next to it and that indicates that this note is a locked note and it's only available to a view if you type the password. So if I want to open this note just uh, click on the field and just type in the password and hit enter and it will let me come into the note. So obviously if I want to lock the note again just go here close all lock notes. So you can't individually close notes you just close all of them at once. But it's very useful if you want to kind of sort of, you know sort of keep notes locked up if you've got um, sort of private ones that you don't want other people to be looking at. So that's how you can do it on OS 10. Now I'm going to show you on iOS. So the procedure on iOS is quite similar to OS 10. However, the password management is done through the Settings app as opposed to directly in the Notes app. So firstly, to set a password on iOS, if you go to Settings and you're going to have to scroll down till you get to the Notes options. If I hit Notes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit password. Oh, I'm running out of storage here. Um, I'm going to hit the password uh, menu. And then it's going to come up with this. If you haven't set a password yet, it's going to come up with this uh, screen. And it's just going to do the same as you did on OS X. So you just type a password. It's just going to have to type a password in. So if I just do for demonstration purposes, password. Obviously not recommended to do such a password. Obviously I'm doing that because you can see the letters on the screen and I don't want to put an actual password in. So I'm just going to type um, password hint and put password. And something you won't find on OS X is the ability to use Touch ID. Obviously uh, if you have a Mac it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner so you can't use this feature. But you, what you can do, you can make sure, I think by default it is checked, but you can uh, turn use Touch ID on. This will allow you to unlock your... Uh, notes with your fingerprint so you don't have to keep typing your password in every time once this is uh, completed hit done and now your password is uh, added and you can hit change password if you decide you want to change it so just oh, enter your old one your new password and something which I don't think you can do on OS 10 you can do on iOS now what you can do is if you want to reset your password you can actually hit it uh, the button and what it will ask you to do is enter your Apple ID password. So if you enter your Apple ID password, I'm just going to blur it out, obviously. What it will let you do is it will bypass all the, the notes password and all the locks it's got in place. And it now gives me the option to hit reset password. And then I can go ahead and choose a new password that I want to use. 
um, for notes. So I'm going to reset uh, uh, reset up the uh, old password that I did and just do a hint. Hit, hit hit done. Use the notes with the password protection on. So I'm going to go into notes, and I've got this test note that I started on uh, OS 10 just a minute ago. And the way you have to enable, uh, you know, the way you en lock a note on iOS is um, you go to the share menu, and then from here you actually hit lock note uh, down at the bottom. If I hit that, it will ask me to enter my password um, just to verify it. If I hit OK, that note is now locked, as you can see. And in the top, there's a padlock which is unlocked. If I want to lock all my notes, uh, I tap the lock button and or the padlock and now this note is locked as you can see it's there and if I go back which I'm not going to do because there's some personal notes there but it will have that same padlock symbol that you saw on OS 10 and if I want to go into a note I just tap on it it will come to this screen if I hit view note all I can do now is I can scan my fingerprint or I can enter my password so if I just scan my fingerprint with touch ID it will let me back into that note so it's very similar across uh, iOS and OS 10, but it is a very useful feature. I use it a lot. I've been using it since it came out in iOS 9.3, and I thought that you should uh, know about it. Now, another thing I should tell you is that passwords are synced. Now, obviously, you are logged into iCloud on both your devices, Mac and iOS. And so if you set a password on your Mac, this will automatically get synced to your iPhone. So you can use the same password on all, across all your devices. You don't have to remember a separate one. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section of the video. And if you like the video, do also give it a thumbs up. Please also remember to subscribe to get more tutorials like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.